Welcome to this week's What I Eat in a Day. I thought that I would start my video out a little bit different this week. As you saw, I had my coffee, I got ready for the day, and now I have just poured my first cup of water to finish my entire gallon of water today. And I thought I would hop on really quick, welcome you to today's video. Kind of let you know what to expect from today's What I Eat in a Day. Say hello to you guys. Hope you guys are doing so good. I'm doing really well. I'm just really busy as usual. So I'm looking forward to today because it's not as crazy as it's been for me. There's a potential we may be showing some houses this evening. I'm just waiting to hear back from my clients, but I have some really good meals planned for today. A really, really good dinner recipe tonight that I'm going to share with you. So as always, if you're excited for what I eat in a day, give this video a thumbs up. It takes a second and it really truly helps out my channel, helps you to push my videos out to others who may need it. And of course it means a lot to me if you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. We'd love to have you join our community. Of course, everything I talk about will be in the description box along with my recipe website so that you can find tonight's dinner recipe, links, discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Come over, join us there. We'd love to have you there too. So two super amazing communities to join. It's currently 7.40 in the morning. I haven't eaten breakfast yet because I have a coaching call this morning at eight. So once I'm finished with my eight o'clock coaching call, we'll put together some breakfast. And of course, I'll share this morning breakfast with you but again I just wanted to hop on say hello and thank you guys again so much for watching today's what I eat in a day I'm too invested, I should probably ask you ask you all my questions get to know you better why can you be trusted will you take me for credit my oats. I'm so excited for this. It looks so, so delicious. So the peanut butter that I use is this Wild Friends Pumpkin Spice Peanut Butter. I really like the Wild Friends brand and I'm just trying to use this up. It's almost gone. I actually bought this last year. So I'm trying to use it up before the expiration date. Saw that I had used some oat milk and then I just topped it with my blueberries. It looks so good and by mixing in that peanut butter, it just gives it a really good flavor and texture. So I'll go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen, but this is breakfast. It's time for a morning snack. It is currently 10.04 a.m. I am doing my meal prep. I film these what I eat days on Sundays, so I also meal prep on Sunday. So right now I'm making the apple cranberry quinoa bowl that you guys saw in meal prep, and I'm gonna stop, take a break while the quinoa cooks and have a snack. So first I'm going to have the Brew Doctor Super Berry Kombucha. This is raspberry, blueberry, goji berry, and oolong tea. It is 60 calories for the bottle and WW counts this as three points. I count this as one point. Then I'm going to have a Built Bar. It's been a while since I had a Built Bar. This is the dark chocolate cookie dough. And the reason I'm having this is because it's quick, easy, it's convenient. I'm right in the middle of meal prepping and I don't have time to make something. I'm thinking about having a protein smoothie later this afternoon, but this is just going to make a quick, simple, 
easy morning snack. This particular flavor is five points. I don't think this one's available. I will go ahead and link Built Bar down in the description box with a discount code for you guys. You can go over, see what flavors are available. They're always popping up new flavors. And the link down in the description box will actually give you 10% off and free shipping. So this particular bar is five points. My kombucha to me is one point. So this is six smart point snack. An update on showing houses. I do have to start showing houses at 5.30 tonight. So I'll take you guys along with me. You can see some of the houses in the area and it's going to put a bit of a wrench into dinner, but I'm hoping to still make dinner before I head out to show houses, but I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my morning snack. Two best friends out here. Look at these two sharing a dog bed. It's a really nice day today. And Diesel's on his dog bed. You guys can see his scar. It's actually healing really, really well. It's pretty scabbed over now. You're doing good, huh, bud? He has one more follow-up appointment here in about a week, and hopefully he gets the clear go-ahead where he doesn't have to go outside on a leash anymore. So here's my lunch for today. I actually made fried rice last night. This is from my meal plan for August that I offer over in my Facebook group. So if you're interested, head on over to my Facebook group so you can know exactly when I'm putting out my meal plan. But I will tell you that this fried rice is delicious. It has steak, chicken, shrimp, it's so, so, so good and so filling. So this is what I'm gonna be having for lunch today. And then I think after lunch, I'll have a slice of my cheesecake bars that I made in my meal prep. Does anyone else's husband do this? Come on. Ugh. So anyway, these are my cheesecake bars that I made in my meal prep. I am going to go ahead and slice myself a piece of this as well. Not the part that my husband ate half of it. Oh, really? Someone came in from outside and made his way onto my pillow. These two, they're always by each other's side. It is about 3.30. I just got off the Zoom call with my challenge group and it is time for me to have an afternoon snack and I am craving a protein shake. So I'm going to show you guys my new favorite concoction when it comes to protein shakes. I'm really loving this flavor combination. It's packed full of protein, healthy fats, Super, super well-rounded, delicious, filling and satisfying snack. For my protein powder, I'm using my very favorite powder. This is the Live Well Protein Powder. This is plant-based, and this particular flavor is the coconut. I truly, truly love this protein powder. It has 16 grams of amino acids, 17 grams of protein, eight grams of natural sugar. Like I mentioned in my weigh-in video and my grocery haul, for the month of August, I'm just really focusing on cleaner food. I'm trying to eat less processed food and more just whole, real, complete foods. And what I love about Live Well is their protein is a complete protein. There's very few on the market that are complete, which means all of its amino acids are intact. And the flavor of this is so good. There's no chalkiness. Most plant-based proteins have that chalkiness and I hate that. This one is not chalky at all. The coconut flavor is so incredibly delicious. It's 97 calories per scoop and two smart points. And here are your ingredients. I mean, clean, clean ingredients, protein blend, of organic brown rice, organic yellow peas, organic sacha inchi, organic hemp, coconut sugar, coconut flavor, xanthan gum, pink sea salt, and stevia. That's it. That is all that is in this protein powder. And like I said, this Live Well is truly the best. They have vanilla, chocolate, coconut, and unflavored. I have all of them. I love them. I will go ahead and link them down below for you guys with a discount. Highly recommend if you're looking for a good, clean, complete protein and you like that there's no dairy, no whey, and this is plant-based, highly recommend again the Live Well. My favorite concoction is frozen blueberries, half of a frozen banana. I love throwing in a tablespoon of chia seeds for some extra protein and healthy fat. And then just my favorite almond milk is the silk almond and coconut. So here's how I make my protein shake. It's really simple. I add in about a cup of almond milk. I don't even think I have that much left. So I'm going to just add in a little bit of water. Always put my liquid in first because I don't want my protein powder sticking to everything. So once I add in my liquid, I'm going to put in half of a frozen banana. A half is plenty for me. It just adds that creaminess and 
in sweetness. And then I just pop in some frozen blueberries. I don't know, half of a cup, a third of a cup. One tablespoon of chia seeds. Again, definitely a game changer. You can't even taste them. It's just going to give you lots of healthy fats and added protein. Then one scoop of the Live Well coconut protein powder. I generally will put that on top. That way, again, it doesn't stick to the sides. I just find that it blends the best that way. So here's what it looks like before blending it up. And here is my protein shake. I'm just telling you this combination, the tropical vibes that it gives you with just half of a banana, some blueberries. I like using blueberries because they're full of antioxidants. They're low calorie. Of course, they're zero points. So good. You cannot taste the chia seeds. There's no chunky seeds in the protein shake. I get lots of questions on my favorite protein powder combination. Hands down, Live Well is my favorite protein powder. This combination I really like. And again, the chia seeds are just a nice added touch for extra protein and healthy fat. So this is my afternoon snack. It is two points for the protein powder, zero for the almond milk because I only use half of a cup, zero for the banana, zero for the blueberry. And I think two points for a tablespoon of chia seeds. I'll go ahead and put the total points and calories here on the screen, but this is my kind of late in the day afternoon snack. Well, change of plans. I will not be making dinner tonight because I am on my way right now to go show houses and it is crummy. We have been so hot here, like 100 degrees, and today it is literally 56 degrees and raining. So welcome to Washington. So not a fun time showing houses in the rain, but we're looking at five or six tonight. So my plan most likely is to be to pick something up for dinner, but of course I'll show you guys whatever I end up getting. So let's go look at some houses. So house number one, and they've decided that this is the one, this is the house they want to put an offer in. So we're going to go ahead and cancel our other showings and put an offer in on this beauty. So a little bit of change of plans for dinner tonight. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick something up on my way home. It's after six already, and I do have to go home and write up this offer this evening. So let's go grab something quick and easy. Try to be as healthy, low point, low calorie as we can. So for dinner, I decided to go to Wendy's. Well, actually, Troy decided to go to Wendy's. So I just got a small chili. I'm not super starving because I did have that protein shake about three hours ago. And those with that live well protein keeps me nice and full. So I'm going to have the chili. If I have anything for dessert, which I probably will, I'll share that with you when I get home. For my dessert tonight, I'm going to have one of my yogurt covered mixed berry Cleo bars. I need to eat these up. They're pretty close to their expiration date. So I'm going to have that for three points. I did buy these at Costco and I I love this one. This one's my very favorite and I have to write an offer. So that's going to round out my day. I bet you think that I should calm down.